Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you some awesome camera movements in Clickteam Fusion 2.5. Alright, so the first awesome camera movement will be smooth scrolling. So the two alterable values you will need are scroll X and scroll Y. Just set to zero for now. This is our player, it's just a regular 8 directional movement thing. It just moves in 8 directions, it's going to represent our player. And these blue things are just collisions. Alright, so for we're going to put an always here. Ignore these events, these are just for the game, the player, and the walls. Just pay attention to this camera group. Always set the camera position, or set its X coordinate to scroller X. Always set its Y position to scroller Y. So there we have positioning. Scroll X and scroll Y. Alright, so let's add another always line just to organize it. And we're going to set scroll x to scroll x plus the x position of our player minus scroller x and end parentheses multiplied by 0 0.01. Now this number here is just the speed of the camera, so you can set this to whatever. So now we have the smooth uh, positioning with our X coordinate. Now let's do it with our Y coordinate. I'm just going to duplicate that. Set scroll Y. I'm just replace every X with Y. And it should work. Okay, so our camera is moving towards the player. It's just our camera is not centered on the camera object. So scrolling's center window position on the camera. As you can see, it smoothly glides to the player, although it is a bit slow. There we go, that's better. A bit too fast. You know what, you choose how you want to set the speed. You can even set a whole separate variable for the speed, and you can change it in-game based on uh, when you want to change it. The next type of scrolling is called auto what what I call auto scrolling. It's basically just a Legend of Zelda type scrolling, uh, but without a smooth transition, which you can add yourself. Just use the smooth scrolling equation and implement it in with this equation that I'm going to put in now. So it's just. A Legend of Zelda kind of scrolling where you can have separate rooms uh, with the same size of the screen and you just uh, move move the camera over every time the, ca the player is in a separate screen. The camera itself is not going to move with the player, the camera is just going to hold values so you can make it invisible. And the two alterable values are scroll X and scroll Y. So our first event will be comparing our player's X position. And so the player's X position divided by the screen width, which is 640 for me, multiplied by 640. So, oh, it has to be good or equal. And now, we set our scroll X of our camera to parenthesis um, X position of the player divided by 640, which is the width of the screen, multiplied by 640. Close parenthesis plus half of 640. I'll just put by two. So just dividing the screen size by two. So that is now the alterable value. Alright, so now we're gonna place an always. Always center window or uh no you're gonna have to center a horizontal window position. Horizontal position of window to 
scroll X. Now let's do this for the Y position. So, Y position. And replace the X with Y, and make sure it's the vertical or height of your window. Alright, so now we have to set our scroll Y variable. Change the values. So let's test this out. Oh, right. Our white position. Just set it greater or equal. And we forgot to. So we have to set our vertical display to scroll Y. So it automatically scrolls to where the player is in the frame. Alright, now this next camera movement is going to be screen shaking, so our alterable values will be the X anchor, Y anchor, and amplitude power. So our first event will be in always. I'm gonna set the uh, set of scrollings to the camera. Next we're gonna put a start of frame. Uh, we're gonna set our anchor X to the X position of the camera. And we're going to set our anchor Y to the Y position of the camera. So next we're going to put in always. We're going to set the X position of our camera to anchor X plus sign random let's put 700 multiplied by our amplitude power and when our amplitude power is greater than zero then we're going to subtract it by one now let's test this by saying uh, when we put, press the space key we set our amplitude power to let's say a hundred and it works but only with the X position now let's do this with the Y position Now, just replace all the X's with Y's. And we also have to say cosine. Seven hundred. Let's try this. And it works. And man, is it massive. It's a bit choppy, but it works.